We going. Good evening, good evening, good people. Welcome, welcome, welcome to another episode of Bless in the City Conversations with Bless. Good to see you guys. Happy New Year. Happy we, New Year. We, we Happiest of New Year's. And um, as always, we're going to start first with our disclaimer. Uh, Bermudez, please. Good evening, peace and love. The disclaimer is just this. The commentary, views, opinions, and discussions that you will hear this evening is no reflection on the views and opinions of Kearney Point, Kearney Point Studios, or any of its employees. So if you're going to get mad at anyone, get mad at Kali, the big back Bayesian. Thank you very much. Hmm. Oh, uh, semi, thank you, uh, Bermudez. <laughs> well, we're going to start off by introducing um, our co-host, uh, good brother Ra. Happy New Year. Happiest of New Year's to everyone. Um, just happy to be in the 2023, man. And I right. hope everyone's taking full advantage of this year. You know, whatever your, you know, resolutions were, please, I, I just implore you, stick to them. Definitely. It's been 10 days, 11 days so far. So, you know, definitely, you know, keep up with those goals and, and set some new ones in February as well. That's right. And to my right, uh, the happiest new year to uh, Erica Bermudez, Lights King Keith. Peace and love, kings and queens. Peace and love. And a happy new year to y'all. When do we stop saying happy new year? Like do, until, the 15th. Oh, okay. 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 Yeah. okay. So I was gonna say, happy Martin, new year. Martin Luther King's yes. um, birthday at least. You yeah, know, the like, 15th. Yeah. Okay, <laughs> this is our first show, so happy right. new year of the new year. So happy new year to everybody. That's the official, uh, you know, you can stop the happy new year. The I like that. I like that. I'm sticking like that. with that one. Yeah. I'm yeah, sticking that's with that's that. That moving forward. Right. Yeah. And, 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 and of course, uh, myself, uh, Kali Moore the Great, the big back in Beijing. All right. I just want to say happy new year. Happy 2023. And it sounds outrageous to say happy 2023. You know, you know, even though I'm only 25, <clears throat> I can remember <clears throat> Y2K. Huh? Nothing. What happened? Nothing. Not at all. Somebody, oh, okay. Mm -mm. I can remember the Y2K buzz, and it just seemed like yesterday, you know, we was in fear that the world was going to end. It was going to be an ultimate You were two shutdown. years old. Right. Yes, I was two. But I, I remember I had a I have You were memory. conscious. Right. Okay. You know what I mean? Yeah. Always. So, yep. and, and just the fact that we've come so far, I just want to say, like, the happiest of New Year's, for real. For real. And, and and being able to survive COVID and survive that part, Erica and stuff like that. It's just, you know, it's just a great thing. And I just want to perfectly say, timed because right. when he said it, she said that part and, and it and just like said, yeah. rolled into right. it kind of. Right. So it kind of I always get thrown into something. <laughs> so. I always no matter what I do, I always get thrown into something. Right. Okay. So it, it, listen, and, and I also want to say this about New Year's resolution. Yeah, you know, they, they say that. You know, uh, we make our New Year's resolutions, and it's actually 34 days that we uphold them until we start to break. Th th is that the average? Is that statistical the average, data? Average, statistic, the yeah. average is typically your resolutions will not make days. it past January. Can I ask a 34 question? 34 days. Actually, yeah. February 4th. So on yeah. February 4th, I'm going to, um, you know, tell you guys to make a new one. But anyway, yeah, so 30, 30 can, can I, I know I know we have segments that we have to get into, but I right. want to ask a question. If you guys don't mind sharing your New Year's resolutions, you you mind doing that? It's I think that would year. be a great opener for the show for for today. Just to just a little, you know, what is your your, your New Year resolution, or what ha, what have been your New Year's resolutions in the past that that you've uphold that you've stuck with? How about that? Well, I, I've retired uh, my New Year's resolutions. All right. So uh, you don't make them anymore. I don't make them anymore. I like that. But, but one thing I do too, I, I I do scroll through my uh, phone book and I just start deleting people. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I just. Yeah. I probably should do that to I free up some space. Delete. Yeah. I just start deleting Choose them. Choose violence every. <laughs> yeah, I, just, yeah, just, yeah. I don't think that's violence. I think I that's just, choosing I, peace. I say to myself, Hey, man. Yeah, you're not relevant. I'm yeah. gonna just remove you. Yeah. Every time you text me it's something negative, I'm gonna remove you. Hey, you got a lot of mess going on online. I'm just going to remove you. Mm. You know, um, part of me, you know, doing a, a cleanse, I do an ultimate cleanse. Like, my okay. cleanse is not just, you know. Uh, like an enema? It's, yeah, it's, it's like, a, it's like, but it's like a, like a social enema, though. I like it. You're purging. Yeah. I right. like it. I just be like, hey, <laughs> delete. <laughs> yeah. 
<laughs> delete. That works. <laughs> yeah. So that's what I, that's what I do. So I don't really make resolutions. You know, I just do a social cleanse. So um, hey. Yeah, my, my, my thing would just be a little bit different. I, 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 it's the only really like holiday that I actually celebrated. I'm, I'm really kind of big into not celebrating holidays like winter solstice, I'm sorry, Christmas or Ishtar, like Easter or any of the other, you know, like pagan holidays. But New Year's specifically is like a new year. It's like a cleanse, as you said. So not really a resolution thing. Um, I live by a model. So it's like a, a time of measurement for me. Right. So it's like every year has to be better than the previous year, which makes my life just getting better incrementally. You know, right. since I've been accounting for this, and I've been doing this for probably like 20 years. And for 20 years, every year, I've been able to say, well, it's been better. Maybe it's not always financially. Right. Maybe, you know, like maybe it was the birth of a child. Maybe it was, you know, a connection with my, um, with my wife or, or, you know, just building up new friendships, being in a better state of peace. Every year I get better and I improve. And I look at that. So at the end of the year, I get to look back and be like, wow, you know what? Like compared to last year, you know, there's been some growth. There's been development. Right. And as long as I'm improving, I'm still living. Beautiful. I like it. That's Absolutely. my thing. Yeah. That's, I like that's, it. That's, See, that's these are positive great. things. I like that. Um, so for me, I don't try to do a resolution either. I feel like a resolution is like something that you won't continue to do. Right. Or, right? I kind of try to set a goal. Right. Mm -hmm. You know, like I try to say... Like last year, my goal was to pass the test for my certs to, mm -hmm. you know, become a full-fledged teacher. Oh, nice. right. I'm still working on that um, mm -hmm. because them tests ain't easy mm -hmm. and they ain't cheap. Right. So I'm going to bring that goal until, the, until this year. I did pass two of the, the few tests that I have to take, but I'm going to keep that. And in addition, this year, I want to travel more. Okay. So I just, I like to set goals. You know, I said mm -hmm. there were other goals that I set last year that I was able to accomplish. So I don't, instead of a resolution, because I don't want to resolve to do anything, right. I just want to set a goal. And I want to make sure that in the 365 days that I have, that I accomplish set goals. Right. Have a and vision board, speak it into the universe, and make it happen, Captain. And and you know what? I and I, that, and I definitely that. love that. And I applaud I you. I love that. that. I, I definitely just, do. And I'll say to everyone, um, that's essential. Um, also, I just want to say to our viewers, uh, um, everybody who, who join us, you know, bi-weekly, hey, listen, thank you for tuning in. Yes. We appreciate your support. Please like, share, and uh, uh, what's the other one? Like, share, Email. Like, yeah. Email yeah. us, e please. Email us, of, of course. Um, Conversation we, right. with bless at gmail.com. Right. Conversation with bless. You see it on his shirt at gmail.com you know send us your comments your concerns right. maybe relationship topics absolutely um your events for the hit in the block segment you know t talk to us just 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 know and understand that you know um this show was actually geared you know for you guys you know um for us to bring in positive content also to stir up conversations and things that might oh, be I thought you were gonna say stir up controversy. <laughs> what <laughs> yes. well, well, it's not wrong with a little controversy. Bless was founded on that's right, hey. absolutely. And um we're gonna you know, get into so, that later. So we, we would love for you guys to continue to share, um, continue to uh send us your emails, you know, voice your opinions. Please, like I said, like, love, and join. Um, another thing to our viewers, I'll say this: it is a new year, it's 2023. I'm gonna encourage you guys to pursue your own happiness. Oh, I like that. I've noticed that a lot of people, you know, a lot of us, we push so hard for others and we wear ourselves out mm. to where there's nothing left. Yeah. I'm glad, <laughs> this, I'm glad this, I put that yeah. Kleenex in my pocket. Yeah. This year, Baby. this year, oh, yeah. choose Ooh, you. Yes. This year, choose you. Take some time out, allow yourself to embrace you, and be unapologetic around about it. If there's someone out there that don't understand, it's not their business to understand. Your pursuit of happiness don't include the feelings of other people. Mm. Yes. Yes. It, it, the, the two can't coexist. It's not a dualship of us being happy. It's pursuit of your own happiness. So continue to do that. And, and your pursuit of your own happiness is not supposed to be understood by others. Your peace don't include everyone else. All right? So don't feel sorry. Don't apologize. Don't feel guilty. No. Let it flow. Yes. Allow yourself to be free for mm. 2023. And do whatever is necessary to ensure 
that your peace and your happiness aren't contingent upon what somebody else can do for you. And all, above all else, yeah. understand that your peace is not something that should be sacrificed. It's not something that people have earned um, to take yes. away from you. So, you That's know, right. it is definitely your own. It's yours to keep, yours to cherish, and only yours to maintain. You don't owe anyone your peace of mind. That's right. Yes, they That's could, right. They, they could get a piece of my mind, though. But anyway. They, <laughs> yeah, anyway. they can always get told off. Right? Yes. Yeah. And, and I, I, I just wanted to start to show off with, with that. Um, I just... Uh, I just want everybody to move forward and, and to become, you know, stronger individuals in 2023, man. I, I'm, that's what I'm about. I'm about. You I know, love that. Yeah, j truly, man. Just, uh, just trying to motivate us as a masses, as people, and 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 don't be afraid to enjoy your individuality. There's nothing wrong with that, you know. That's you've been created to to be that individual, it's a blessing. right? And that's a blessing within it all. Um, we're gonna actually move forward, starting off with Miss Bermutez. Unfortunately, I, I prefer to start off with uh, Mr. Chambers, but it is a new year, so we're going to try something different. Forgive me, guys. I don't know how this is going to turn out. I Can so I say it, though? Hit the block. Yes, I feel special. Oh. They starting with me. Oh, oh, my God. Okay, so I have a lot. So thank you, Erica. So moving <laughs> forward, no. I have a lot to bring to you guys for hitting the block. There's a lot going on. So first, I want to start with... Um, the AKAs, if you don't know, that's Alpha Kappa Alpha Sorority Incorporated. And the Rho Gamma Omega chapter is holding a youth leadership institution. Mm -hmm. And the information session will be Saturday, January 21st at 1230 p.m. at the Mary, Be Mary McLeod Bethune Center. That's 140 MLK Drive in Jersey City. If you have any questions, you can go to their um, Instagram page. That's AKA underscore PKQ. Okay, so that's at AKA underscore PKQ. And the website is www. That AK dot, I'm sorry, AKA R O H K A P P A O M E G A dot org. That's AKA Rho Kappa Omega. Dot org. And I think this is very good. Um, that's for Hudson County um, children age 11 through 13, boys and girls. It's a youth leadership institution. And we definitely need that. So bring your kids out. If you're interested, go to the website. Also, um, another great sorority are the Sisters of Zeta Phi Beta Sorority Incorporated, the Sigma Zeta Zeta chapter, is having a scholarship opportunity. Okay, um, for any questions or concerns with that, you can email SZZ Chapter Second, that's 2NDVP, at gmail.com. Once again, that's SZZ Chapter 2NDVP at gmail.com. And that's for a scholarship opportunity with the Zeta Phi Beta Z uh, Fraternity, I'm sorry, Sorority Incorporated. Um, also, with hitting the block, um, there is a Jersey City Tenants Town Hall. Okay, join the fight for tenants. Rent is high as hell, okay, in Jersey City, and it's ridiculous. So tomorrow night at the JC Theater Center, that's 165 North Avenue from 6 p.m. to 8 p.m. Anybody who's having problem with rent, Go there, voice your concerns, you know, yell, scream, because it's ridiculous. Yeah. I mean, two-bedroom apartment is like $2,000. It's crazy. Um, I'm going to move quickly because I have a couple other things here. Um, also, the West District Cap Captain's Meeting is at St. John's Baptist Church. That will be January 31st at 6 p.m. That address is 525 Bram Hall Avenue. And that's just discussing local crime and community concerns. There's a lot going on in Jersey City with crimes, and they're trying to combat that. So you voice your concerns. Don't be out here talking to your friends about what you're upset about. They have these meetings. They have these town halls. Go and voice your concerns. Yeah, please, please attend. Please attend. Please attend. You definitely can make a difference. Once again, that would be January 31st at 6 p.m. at the St. John's Baptist Church, 525 Bram Hall Avenue. And lastly, Frank Educational Gilmore is looking for volunteers to help um, 
cover public meetings, okay? So he hosts public meetings, and he's looking for people to volunteer. So if you want to voice your concerns, you want to assist him with these public meetings, he's looking for volunteers. Go out, make your voice heard. Use your time wisely. Give back to the community. And if you want more information for that, you can go to the website, www.everythingwardf.com forward slash volunteer dash zone. And that's all I have for hitting the block. Great. Um, you know, I, I first I did wanna... have one more. It was yeah, a brother. selfish plug. Um, so Ecode NJ, um, well, Ecode Learning Center now, 501c3, is basically hosting coding um, classes for Minecraft out of Curry Woods Community Center. I will tell you guys that the turnout has um, not been what we expected. We um, are servicing two areas, and one is um, at the Cove on Pacific, which is a kind of gentrified area, and we're like reaching, we've already reached capacity. We're 100% you know, full in that location. We would love a lot of people in the community to actually come to some of these coding. They're free. All you have to do is register with um, Jersey City Rec Desk, and come to those. If you have kids that are looking to learn coding through Minecraft, they'll also learn game development and game um, um, uh, game actually build out. So please have them come through. It gets uh, extremely frustrating because we put these coding classes in places for you know a segment of the population to take advantage of it, and the turnouts you know don't always end up being what they should be. Mm. And give that address again uh, for the coding and the Curry Woods. Uh, again, that's going to be Curry Woods Community Center. That's 68. Um, I'll post it inside of the comments right. because okay, yeah, no I don't problem. know it. Uh, what, what time do you normally start there? So the coding classes will start at uh, 3.30. We, okay. It's an hour and a half. You know, It's an after-school program. The kids pretty much come in. They learn what they have to learn. They have fun. They enjoy it. We provide everything from you know robotics to the computers. They don't have to bring anything. We right. even provide pen and paper. Like right. everything is provided for them. It would be very nice if kids could come and um, pretty much, Beautiful. you know, take take part and, of it. And it's early enough uh, so that it, they can feel safe and free to actually come in during the day. Yep. And listen, I mean, that's a wave of the future, and that's something that if you gift that to a child, yes. that it can continue them to to make them and basically teaching them how to fish. Yes. You know what I mean? So that's a blessing within itself. And I always applaud and uh, praise you and your partner and your, and your company for doing those type of things. Man. We appreciate that's it. That's a blessing, bro. For real. A thousand And it's miles. important. You know, when you look at the statistics in terms of the black and brown people that's in the computer field versus the white counterparts, it's, it's very low. It's and I think that it's, the, the mathematical field and the computer field are, are the two areas where our people our mm -hmm. children need to flourish in those areas because right. that's the areas where the money is at that's no, where the future no, is no well, no believe it or not naturally yeah. i mean we yeah. excel yeah naturally yeah believe it or not even kids yeah. that were on a spectrum is something that i've, I've oh, noticed yeah. as well they, which lo is they love technical stuff yeah right. technology yes. isn't biased based off of some of the other things that you might struggle in with social studies and things right. like that where you can't find commonality these are things that kids are already doing, so mm -hmm. why not have them be more proficient in there? And yes. I think a lot of the biggest disconnect is that the parents don't necessarily understand how vital it is. Right. These kids will not be able to have a future if they can't do some kind of computer something right. in the next 10 years. Yep. Wow. Yeah, absolutely. You know what I mean? so, so definitely. And also, shout out to the AKAs and the beautiful ladies at the uh, Zeta Sigma. And uh, yeah. Sabrina Riley, my hey. sister. Uh, yes. Beautiful queen. Miss Keisha O'Neill, Miss Ashley that, Sullivan, I'd aka Ashley, Keisha yep. O'Neill, Zeta. Right. Those are the two ladies. Yeah, Ashley I, was the one who gave me the flyer. I, Keisha yeah, O'Neill. I can't wait to the to the Zeta the Zeta ball. I I had a ball at the Zeta. Ball. You had a ball, had a ball at the Zeta, the Zeta ball. ball. Zeta ball. Zeta ball. So okay. shout out to them Zeta. Zeta ball. Yeah. Okay. And and, and, and also uh, Zeta. Zeta. Greek again. unity, Greek mm -hmm. unity. What? So yeah. Yeah. Okay. D nine orgs, all right. of them. Yeah. You're a Greek, aren't you? Oh. I am black. No, I'm just. I am um, a uh, Iota sweetheart, mm -hmm. but the, they're now incorporated. It's the incorporated sister. I don't know. I haven't been involved in many years, but I was an Iota sweetheart, yes. Okay. That's so, about as Greek so, as I get. Stop so drinking the tea. Um, so, <laughs> and, and also. I had tea earlier. Gil <laughs> Gilmore. Yes. Education of Gilmore, Coach Will. Please, guys, volunteer and help that brother. Um, um, again, uh, we support, you know, Anything that that brother come up with, because we know the importance of it, mm -hmm. we 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 get it, we understand it, and we love for our viewers to you know tap in, 
link up, do whatever you can, you know, try to be as supportive as possible. Uh, it takes, you know, people power to actually make changes. So uh, please support them. And, yes. um, you know, that's a great, great little uh, wrap up. I think Chambers would have done a better job, but, you know, you did okay. Okay, I try. Yeah, you, amazing. You, you, just, you try. I take constructive, constructive criticism, so yeah, yeah, whatever. You tried. Okay, you next time it. I'll do better. That's all. Please do. You know, it is 2023. Yes. Right. And, uh, you know, moving forward, um, I'm glad we ended it up and the roundup of the hit in the block was uh, the basis of community. And yes. that's generally what we do. Unfortunately, um, these last couple of weeks, um, I would say a misfortune has definitely taken place and something devastated in our community. Um, our president, Anthony Smith, about, I say two years ago, was appointed the uh, community relations officer from Hudson County Department of Corrections. And um, since his um, addition to the Jersey City Public School, he's done some amazing things. Um, and unfortunately, they've decided to actually pull him from his daily activities that he was uh, invested in, you know, at the public schools. Um, and, you know, we, we just want to um, shed light on some of the great things that he's done. Um, I know Ms. Benunez was an educator at uh, two of the places that we actually did mentorship. Um, also, Brother Chambers actually came in and he actually helped instruct some of um, the programs did, and he was able to introduce some e-coding to our kids. Uh, we had numerous amount of speakers. Uh, I'm gonna actually extend myself to Ms. Bermudez first, to um, so she can enlighten you guys, the viewers, on you know some of the changes she's seen in her school system with uh, the participation of um, you know President Smith. Um, well, first off, I want to say this. I think that it's important to note that. Um, when you think of an institution such as the Hudson County um, Rehabilitation Center, you just think of jail. Mm -hmm. You know, you just think of people being in there because of crimes they committed or they're sitting there fighting their case for a crime that they may have not committed, whatever, that's neither here nor there. But to know that there is an, a, a man, an officer, who was brought into the community to talk to students, to prevent them from getting to that part. I think that's where the correction and rehabilitation portion of it, aspect of it, comes into play. Because what you have to think about is in Jersey City, particularly at the two schools where you guys, um, w w that I was at that you guys were at, because you guys mm -hmm. were at a, a lot of schools, but particularly um, with 15 and now I'm at 34, a lot of these students experience so much trauma because of what's going on in the environment. They think that gang life is life. They think that, you know, wearing a bracelet in the seventh grade, and I'm talking about an ankle monitor. I'm, talk I'm not talking about a bracelet. I'm talking about a GPS monitor. They think that that's cool. You know, they think that skipping school is, is cool. So when you have somebody coming from the Hudson County um, Department of Corrections or Rehabilitation Center, and they're coming into the schools to talk to these students before they even get to him right. inside the building. Right. That is monumental. Right. Because all these kids think about when they think about jail is that you a CO, you in there, you you know, you mean you think you tough. No, but you know what Anthony brought to the school system and what he brought to these students was um compassion. Right. You know, he brought his experience as being a Jersey City public school graduate, going to 15 and, and Snyder. Mm. And, you know, he also brought the knowledge of the environment, how he grew up. And, you know, it didn't change that much, but more violence, you right. know, and more things going on. And now younger, right. you know, the, the guns are in the hands of the 15-year-olds and the 14-year-olds and even, you know, younger than that. So when you have this man coming into the school district to talk to these students before they get to that part of it, right. and now you no longer have that. You have to remember some of these kids don't have fathers. Right. Mm -hmm. So this man is getting calls in the middle of the night yes. because parents are concerned about where their children are. Parents are concerned because their children may be hitting them. And they lean on this man 
because they know that this man is coming into the school system and a lot of these kids are looking at this man as a father figure. Yes. Mm. And their their fathers or people who have that role in their lives are stripped away because they're in the system. Yeah. Mm. So you have another aspect of the system stepping in to to give that, you know, familiarity. Here I am. I'm, a, I'm a, as him, you know, a man that's coming in just say, you know, these are preventative measures. Gang life isn't the only way. This is what you can do, you know. And, you know, his efforts with even recruiting, going into the high school, going into the colleges, and recruiting officers to come into the jail system. So for me, it's a little disheartening. Um, you know, I see fights going on at school, and they affiliate me with Bless. Mm -hmm. You know, so they're like, could you call Anthony? Could you call John? Could you call Bless? Mm -hmm. You know, we, we need them in the school. There's a fight going on. And what... Anthony did when he was there is, is if something was happening, he's, you know, tapping into the Jer Jersey City um, Police Department. He's tapping into other blessed members that can get to the school to prevent certain things happening. There was a parent who called to threaten a student. And, you know, Anthony was able to call the police to get them there. But with him being back in the building, you can't have your phone in the building. Mm -hmm. So who can we call now? Right. Who can we call now? Right. You know? Mm -hmm. So, and, and, and it's not all the time that they want to see a police car because when they see Anthony, the difference is that is that they see a person. Right. You know? He, a lot of people in our community, they're afraid of the police. Right. And what Anthony brings to that is he brings that compassion. You know, he brings that that love, that, that father figure that, these young men and women or young boys and girls are looking at. So we're definitely missing it is, you know, he went back in uh, January 1st and even the, the two weeks is, is his presence is missed. Right. I got students coming up to me like, you know, where's, where's Anthony, you know, is he coming back? And I'm like, you know, soon. So we definitely need to rally around this man and support him if you if you support anything that is going on in the community, then you need to support him That's and right. make sure that he's back doing what he needs to do to help our students prevent them from getting into the Hudson County jail system. That's that's right. Um, anything you'd like to add, uh, Brother Chambers? Yeah, definitely. I, and and um, yeah, I was a bit disheartened myself when I found out, you know, that he was no longer going to be serving in that capacity. And the, the biggest issue is because, you know, I am a, 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 a staunch pet, um, pessimist. So when it comes to specifically with the county jail, I, I don't see, or, or law enforcement in general, um, you know, and I, I, I'm going to talk about some of the ugly, you know, like what I associate with law enforcement is what a lot of people associate with law enforcement. You know, a uh, sergeant officer driving over a man in, in, in Audubon Park. Uh, you know, mm. officers kicking a man who's, you know I mean, jumping out of a burning car who's still on flames and things like that. You see those things. We've seen those, you know what I mean, things go on. We know about, you know what I mean, the corruption that was going on with overtime, which prevented, you know, Jersey City um, police officers from being able to collect overtime and things like that because of all the scandal that went there, some of which, which get, you know, gets thrown under the rug and things like that. There's a good segment um, of the community, you know, who witnessed, you know, that, that immediately after COVID, you know, people were accosted, you know what I mean, for being outside, even though a fight broke out of a, after a funeral on Boswick Avenue. You know, like we see those things and we negative, we have negative associations when it comes to police officers. So when you see a group like BLESS that comes out, Blacks and Law Enforcement Service in the Community, doing all the advocacy that they do, you know what I mean? And rallied pretty much behind one man's vision, you know what I mean? Anthony Smith is not just a community member, not just a community leader, he's a visionary as well. And I think single-handedly he could be responsible for the change in the outlook Right. You know, when it comes to, you know, policing in our community. That's so right. he stands as, you know, a person who, you know, is like is above. Smitty gets so many awards, it's ridiculous. I think he has a whole shelf where it's just like leaning like this because of the weight from it all. Because we appreciate him. As a community, re um, you know, representative myself, you know, um, and I'm just talking about, a, you know, like a local community organizer. 
we look to this man to be our kind of sergeant at arms when it comes to securing certain yeah, events, events and things right. like that. Exactly. You know, so mm -hmm. when it's like, all right, well, how do we how do we make sure that people don't get too rally, you know, rowdy or anything like that when we have an event? Invite bless. Let's invite bless. <laughs> right. Let's invite that arm, you know what I mean? And not because they go to intimidate, but it's because they bring a certain amount of respect that has been earned from decades now. Right. You know, you know, and, and this is all behind pretty much Anthony Smith. You know what I mean? Who had this vision. Now, I'm not taking anything away from any of the other me uh, members, right. you know, but I, I am going to say that I think all of us in the community really, really do rely on him. And I don't think we fully understand pretty much His, the work that goes right. into, you know, the, you know, the things the that he's done. So the yeah. dedication and right. all the other things. We have to start supporting those who have supported us first. Absolutely. And, and, and that's pretty much where we are. So I support um, Anthony Smith. I think that what he's done, if nothing else comes from this podcast or me saying anything, what he's done has just been a tremendous job. And I don't think that it should, you know, be like overlooked. And I just, here goes another situation where a resource is taken out of the community. What do we get back in return? A resource yeah. taken out of the school system, and yeah. especially. In, that's in the general. saddest part. Yeah, because what do the we kids get back need in return? it. What All do we right. get back in return? He's gone now. Who fills in the void that this man's awesome and, and, and almost omnipresent, you know what I mean, like his presence has filled here? Mm -hmm. who, who comes in and, and does that? Because if not, then this is, you know, uh, this is going to adversely impact our community. Absolutely. And, and, and yet again, here we are as the adults letting our children down once mm -hmm. again. Once again. K kids who are already have been disappointed time after time. And um, and their reaction to it is to rebel and only intensify, you know, um, what they what they've been doing. You know, not just any person can fill those shoes. No one, no one can. It 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 it's not a position that was designed for him. He actually magnified mm. the position and truly made it to what it. It is agreed, and, and 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 it's not only because he was appointed to do so, only because he cares just that much, and and then again, it, it's tragic to see something so great, right, be diminished. You know what I mean? By I don't know if it was politics. I understand the need, and I, I and I'll tell you, I I I I'm not you know shaming our department because we is we are short of staff. Mm -hmm. dramatically but he also was participating in, in the recruitment. you know the trying recruitment. to recruit mm -hmm. and, and make a difference on that end and there's a certain level of trust that the community has bestowed on him so just the fact that you're having him and people can see him as a model of what could be it's just another way of you guys saying hey come and join us because we're not just the guys who slam yes. the doors in the face of your fathers and your mothers that part we're not that You're not. So, so to see that there's actually individuals there that have that level of compassion and, and that, that truly is a leader. Like I said, I mean, I'm, I'm there when, you know, he get the phone call that my son's not waking up, you know what I mean, for school and he was hanging out all night and stuff like that. I'm there. Like, I'm there when he gets there early to go there to knock on the door and say, come on, son, it's time for you to go to school. I've been there. I'm there when we hear that this kid hasn't been eating for the last week and haven't had something to eat, you know, never eats breakfast or have any lunch money. I've seen this man go in his own pocket yes. and actually give tens and fives to these kids so they can actually have a meal. And that's probably the only lunch they might have all week if they don't see him. I'm there. And, and, and again, this is not something that's taught. This is not something that you can go to school for. This is truly in his heart. This mm -hmm. is truly an investment that he's decided to actually devout himself to. And, and, and it's important that, again, we rally behind him and be supportive because, again, it, it, it's, it's no disrespect to anybody. But if we're playing chess, that's the wrong move to make. Agreed. And it's not a chess move. We right. understand it. It's not. It's right. always quantitative, you know, from the bigger heads. No one's going to say it, but I will. It's always quantitative. Oh, well, we need this to place here. And it's never qualitative. And our community thrives off of quality. Right. You know, like we, we need quality of life. We need quality of school systems, you know what I mean, to be where they are. We already have a school system that is underfunded. You know what I mean? Yeah. Right. All the stress right. that goes is placed mm -hmm. around um, a, a, upon a teacher who, you know, has to rationalize every day 
why do I sign up for this? Right. Just for her to be able to say, at least I have relief in knowing that there's someone out there that I can call when things right. get tough that can reach this kid in a way that I can. Right. Yeah. And, and I'm going to tell you something. I mean, I don't think that those who are responsible for allowing him or placing him in the school system understand his dynamic. Mm. Before I couldn't do what he do. I couldn't. I just could I just yeah. can't. You know, so for him to be so composed and still be, you know, relevant and being able to accomplish his goals, right? It's extraordinary. And that again, that's only training that you can receive by practice and that's the experience that you develop in the job. And when you are in a facility like ours, right? I mean, you know, it's 15% physical and it's 85% mental because, you know, you have to be able to communicate. You have to be able to be aware of what's going on and you have to be able to strategize on how to come to a common ground without mm. using the least amount of force. And, and that comes from years of practice, right? And that's one thing he was able to develop. Um, and, and, with, and his understanding overall of what's going on in our community when it comes to gang culture, mm -hmm. yo, it's unimaginable and unmatchable. There's no one out there that can fill those shoes. And, I, and I'm going to say something. So when we first start going to 15, because mind you, uh, we had programs in Lincoln High School. We had programs in Snyder. And that was a blessed thing after work, strictly volunteer. Once he became the community relations officer, he dived exactly during in the morning, in peak hours, in some of the worst schools in Jersey City. 15 school was dealing with such an issue of kids just leaving the classroom and just Walking terrorizing mm -hmm. the hallways or what have you. Um, he was able to come there and, and pretty much cancel that. He was able to come there and minimize the, actually highlight where the, the trouble areas was. Um, we, we went into identifying what personal issues that some of these kids had, right? And a lot of it stemmed from, you know, their parents not being there. And, and we come to find out that a lot of the problematic children or those who were deemed problematic, Listen, they were the offspring of the guys we knew for decades coming in and out of our facility. Yeah. So just being able to have that connection with something that they was able to relative, or actually relate to. You know my father? Yeah, man, I know your father. Uh, for real? Uh, you know my uncle so-and-so? So, -and -so? so mm -hmm. just, that, just that common denominator alone, you know what I mean, was something that he was, a tool that he was able to use to embrace. Help to build right. a rapport with the students so that yes. they would be willing to open up right. to him. And it's an unfortunate thing, but we're talking about relating to children at their level in order right. to be able to break that kind of paradigm, right? Right. And what better way, you know what I mean, for a kid who is, you know, like, unfortunately, mass incarceration it negatively impacts a lot of kids. Yes. You know, especially in that, um, that specific area. What better way, what better person to be able to de-escalate you know, a child yes. from somebody who understands at least a portion of their personal experience. Absolutely. And and listen, yeah. the, the, it's the, invaluable. the school to prison <clears throat> pipeline is real. Yes, it is. <laughs> It's real. Yeah. It, it is. I'm, I'm it's sorry. A thing. Yeah. I'm no, it's sorry. A thing. It, it it truly is a reality and it's it's unfortunate. And I, I, I never could imagine that one person could be so impactful until I was able to witness myself. Yeah. I think yeah. it's also important to note that there is, at least from my knowledge, and I Googled it, you know, you could find a lot through Google. He that position, community relations relations officer, coming from a county jail is the first of its kind. Yes, mm. yeah. Not just in the state of New Jersey, but literally across the country. There, yes. there, there is nowhere that I've seen in my research that a corrections police officer is allowed into the community to really reach out to the youth. Yeah. Okay, and like like you said, Kali. He, you know, he had a dual position going on. You're going into the school systems, into the community, you're helping parents, you're helping children, but at the same time, he was able to do recruitment as well. You're right. going into the, to the high schools and you're, you're talking to, you know, seniors who may be graduating and they don't know what they want to do. Not everybody wants to go to college. No. Not, Not everybody wants majority. to go to college. No. And no. so you're, you're reaching out to them, you, you know, you say, you know, this is a good job to have. Yeah. You know, mm -hmm. you have stability with this job and then you're going into the colleges for some students who st oh in college and they still don't know what they want to do with their That's lives. Right. So for him to have that that dual capacity to be reaching youth, um, trouble youth to prevent them from going into the system, but also recruiting, right? Not just recruiting, you know, 
for the for the lack of manpower that's in there for people who need jobs let's right. not forget that we have a, a, an unemployment crisis right that's going on right now mm. so i feel like you know like you said i don't know if it's politics i don't even want to get into all of that yeah that's the other side of it i think the main focus should be just supporting him and right. doing whatever is necessary to ensure that that gap doesn't extend. Right. You know what I mean? Right. Instead of pulling this man back, they should be releasing more officers right. into the community to aid him in his endeavor. Right. Because one man can't do it. Mm -hmm. And while he does have, you know, bless the blessed members, the blessed members work. Right. And you have the police officer. For free. For free, baby. Okay. For free. Okay, yeah. so they For when free. they when they end when they punch their clock, you know, they're going to 15 on Tuesdays and Thursdays from three to six, and they're helping out, you know, when they punch that clock. And then you have John, for example, who's getting off eight o'clock in the morning and right. coming to 34 school. Right, yarning. Shout, shout out to John Bowman. Yarning. Shout out to Officer Daniels, yeah. Officer Yeah, Rose, everybody, like everybody Chauncey who's Black, coming. Black, Mama Blue, all those who participate yes. in keeping that mentorship program yep. um, the way they are. And, and I'll, I'll break down the dynamics of what our program actually uh, introduced. We introduce structure, we promote leadership, and um, we just try to also promote encouragement. So we help them with their homework. We also have guest speakers. We have as many people as the mayor, councilmen, probably some people that they've been able to in be introduced to that they probably would never ordinarily yeah. be able to meet or, or have any conversations with at all. Um, and, and it's important. We expose them to yoga. We expose them to so many different dynamics, art. E coding, art. Yes. Yeah. And, and I'm telling you, I mean, what's most fulfilling about a program such like such as this is we have seen so many memorable moments and we had plenty of students that had graduate and that come back and tell us about the impact that is actually made. And um, again, that's that's irreplaceable. I've never seen anything like it before. Um, I think it would be very difficult to actually duplicate it if you're not a part of it, you know, originally. And it's just, it's just an unfortunate tragedy that, you know, we're going to allow this talent to be stuck behind the walls and not actually fulfilling, you know what I mean, his destiny. Well, I don't and, think th th he's going to fulfill his destiny, regardless. And, and no, but no, it, that's yeah, true. But we, should, we shouldn't make it difficult. We, we shouldn't make it difficult. Ex that's you know that I mean? part. We shouldn't yeah. make it difficult. And, and, that and, part. And, 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 and again, I mean, look, uh, he's definitely one man that's more impactful outside than in. Agreed. One body inside of just, you know, standing there and being, you know, it, it, it's just, uh, it, it's painful. It's painful to, to see that. I feel like we're, we're losing. We, we, we lost. I, I just encourage everybody and anybody, you know, to stand up for Officer Smith. Stand, stand behind him. How do you we know do what that, I mean? Bro? Um, on one thing How you do can definitely do, yeah. do, you can go to, uh, you know, the Hudson County website, flood them with emails. Um, write letters. Them, write letters. Write letters. Yeah, send them the 3035 hack and sack. Let them know the importance of, of and relevance That's of hack this and sack of Kearney, New Jersey. Yes, thank yeah. you. Uh, the, 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 it right. used to be the Board of Chosen Freeholders. It's now um, Hudson County Commission. Commissioners. Commissioners. Um, right. and speak on the speaking of yeah. which, um, there will be a commissioner's meeting Thursday, January 26th at 4.30 p.m. The address for that meeting is 567 Pavonia Avenue in Jersey City, New mm. Jersey. And I urge all of you parents, former students, um, blessed members, I already know the blessed people are going to be there in full force, but I urge the community to really come out and just speak to, don't come out, in, in, you know, completely enraged, right? Come out and speak to what this man has done for you and for how the impact that he's had on the community. I really want to get into um, some of these comments really quickly, if you don't mind. Um, so, um, Miss Delandra High says, I support you, Mr. Smith. You are patient, caring, and an all-around good person. A lot of kids depend on you because they might not be getting that attention and leadership at home. Um, then we have uh, Keisha O'Neill who says this is very disheartening that an individual was removed from their role as a liaison between the Jersey City Police slash Hudson County Corrections, um, Jersey City Government, Jersey City Board of Education, and Jersey City Community. It's very rare for a community 
who's faced with many challenges have an individual who holds a hand with law enforcement, government, and constituents with a single goal, betterment of its natives and the people tasked to run the business and safety of where we live, work, and raise our children. Keisha um, Brown Davis says, we stand with Anthony. Obama bears PS34. We, supl we support blessed. So this is just, um, just a couple, few comments for people who are standing in support of him. We need to see this same support, this same energy. January 26th, again, that address is 567 Pavonia Avenue, Jersey City, New Jersey, and the time is 4.30 p.m., come out in droves, okay? Mm, come out and right. show them that the community needs this man. That's right. They need his involvement in the school system to reach out to our youth, to show the youth that, listen, there is another way. There is another way. Absolutely. Let's not continue to disappoint our youth. They've been disappointed enough. And this truly is not a Hudson County thing. It, it It's a community thing. You know what I mean? It's a, the betterment of all those involved, Again, I, I've seen some extraordinary things, even when I said, ah, that's not going to work, or, or, you know, I was discouraged. I've seen some amazing things come from the mentorship program. And, I, and, and like, again, it, it's disheartening to, to see this transpire, knowing that something could be done, something so simple as just, uh, you know, supporting, this, this supporting Brother Smith as he uh, go back into the jail, we want him to come out. We want him to come back and serve the community. Service the community. The community miss him. Um, you know, again, I can only say support him. You know, stand by him, letters, appearances, please. Whatever you guys can do. And we also want to thank our viewers again, you know, for always, you know, responding, for always tuning in. Um, spread the word, share, link, copy, you know, whatever you absolutely can. Um, listen, we really need you guys' support, and we want y'all to come out and, um, you know, be positive, and, uh, you know, we, we hope that this can actually make some changes and we can get Brother Smith back out. We can make the change. I think that people have to realize there's power in numbers. Right. And one person can start, right? right. But you have to have the unity. You have to have the community right. come together and back this man up. Right. You know, it's it's very reflective of even, you know, the, the past um, local election when Educational Gilmore was going for a councilman. Right. You know, he had the power in numbers. He spoke to the community, right. not just because of who he are, but what he, what he represented, you know. And I see that same thing with Anthony. Anthony represents the community. He's That's from right. the community. You yeah. got these kids looking at you. Okay, so this is the picture I'm going to paint for you, right? A lot of these teachers ain't from the hood. No. Like, I'm going to keep it all the way 100 from right. you. These teachers come from their lily white neighborhoods, right. and they come to try to teach our black children, and they can't and relate a, to a them. There. There's a disconnect. Yes. So you have this man coming into the school system, and he's getting that respect because he looked like them. He talked like them. Like you said, I, I know your father. I know your uncle. I know this person. And then they, they, it's like that that rapport that he gets to build with them just from the familiarity, mm -hmm. you know, so they, they want to open up to him. You know, they have, you have kids who have the, in a teacher with a classroom with a teacher and they could be with that teacher for months and never open up to that no, teacher. No. They, they meet Anthony one time and they're pouring their heart out to right. him, man, this is what I want to be in a gang. I want to, I want to shoot this. Word. And he's like, well, why? You know, he, right. he talks to them. Right. And he talk, he keep it real. Right. And that's what this, that's what Absolutely. our students need and that's what they respect you know they 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 gonna undeceive listen our kids are lied to and deceived so much so much in their lifetime so they're able to decipher what's real and what's fake instantly and so so due to the fact because he's true to himself you know they're able to respond to him in, in ways that they wouldn't to a lot of these teachers i mean we we take us in law enforcement we are we are definitely civil servants right so uh, allow this man to provide the service that he took an oath for, and, and that's and that's what he's doing on a day to day basis. You know, it's not a break. No, this this four hours in the Jersey City school system, right? <laughs> it's like twenty four hours in the correctional setting. So this is not a break, not at all. Emotionally, is very over overwhelming. 
But, you know, still he pushes through. And again, it's a lot of sacrifice that take place. This is not a break. It's not, you know, something that, you know, uh, 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 he's lollygagging around. No, he's being impactful. I think he's working harder out in Absolutely. the community. You know, when know you're getting phone calls at 11 o'clock at night, parents saying, you know, my son is fighting me or my son didn't come home right. or my daughter ran away. I know students personally. Right. Students that have run away and people mm -hmm. are calling me like, could you call Bless or, you right. know, could you get and, in contact with yeah, Anthony? And, 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 he's, and he would and he, he would text all of us texting and, and everybody like this person is alert. missing. Right. Mm -hmm. And and um and we and we go on a search and we do everything we, we could possibly do. So, again, I, that's irreplaceable, man. And um, I, I really hope that we can get the support to get the brother back in his uh in his role. I want to read a, another comment. This sure, is actually ahead. from uh, the president the community relations officer himself, Mr. Anthony Smith, who says, thank you, people. I'm getting old, truly. <laughs> Helping these kids is my true passion. We keep getting roadblocks in our way, but we will continue to fight. Thank you for the love. And I think that's the important part is the, the roadblocks, you know? Right. Just when you, when you feel like you've come to an impasse, where, where do you go? Where do you turn? Well, well, one thing I one thing I can say is I just feel as though the people who are in a position to make the decisions, they don't have the connection or the understanding on how impactful that he is, and that's why it's so easy for him, them to do so. To dismiss, you know, it. forgive mm -hmm. them because they know not what they do. They don't understand the 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 ramifications behind them removing him. Like I they said, don't. it's they about numbers, it's about figures, and it's not necessarily. I don't know if this is personal, um, but I just say from what I've noticed, the top up, you know, they always think, you know, and does this fit this metric or this metric? So we're, you know, don't have enough people. So, you know, maybe we need to start pulling people. And, and, and not that it would make a significant difference to have one person back. I was about to say, what, what um, one person? If, you, if there's so much of a What's good for the goose is good for the gander, you know? And so maybe right. there's a, a, a reason to do this to pull people from other places. You know, you know like, so, you know, it might not be something specific or, or maybe it's not even intentional. But at the end of the day, I don't think that the community is being considered. Right. Um, and, and that's, 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 that's the, the, the that's the real mm -hmm. big, you know, like disservice. Right. And we have to call it for what it is. This isn't about just one person. Smitty is just a, a, a man who's, you know, has great accolades and things like that. But it's the service that he provides right. to a community in need right. of and that service. Right. And we are being, as a community, we're losing out on a positive resource and we need to understand why. And so again, if you're going to have time, you know, on, on, on the date, you know, mentioned. January 26th, that's a Thursday, last Thursday of the month, 4.30 p.m., 567 Pavonia. I need so many people mm. to be in there that they outside. Like, Come it's just no room. Concerns. That's right. There's no room. Y'all need a ride? Please. That's right. And, and I'm a, I got a seven-seater. And, and I'm a, I'm a tell put it you, in the, man, Put it in the comments. Uh, uh, I do too. No one's getting in my car. <laughs> yeah. 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 But again, this come. is this is this is this is an attack. You know what I mean against the community. Yep. Yeah. Actually. Yes. Yeah. That's, that's that's pretty much what it is. That's how you have to take. Yeah. There's no other way. Yeah. This isn't for the benefit of one person. Right. This is a community that is in need of resources that continuously lose resources. It's like every we ended the year. Talking about the shrinking of the right. um, of the ward and Ward F, right. there's just so much is being taken mm -hmm. from this community. We don't when are we need gonna to get lose. Back? When do we get something yeah. back? And people, it's it is incumbent upon you to voice your um, opinion. Power concedes to nothing without demand. It never has. It never will. Right. You have to stay. You know, what I mean, vigilant. You know, that's not me. That's Frederick Douglass. But you have to stay vigilant. You have to come out and voice your concerns, and not just in this situation, all situations, but right. particularly in this case for this situation. Yeah, right. we have to unite. We have to come together and really show yep. the powers that be how this man's presence impacts the community. You know, because a lot of times, you know, you sitting up in your, your office and, you know, you don't you don't know. No. You know, he's out there doing what he's doing and maybe they don't truly know the no. impact that he has. It's, it's, it's true. 
You're, so true. we got to come out. It, we got to. We definitely have to come out. We have to come out. I'm gonna say the date and add, and I'm gonna keep saying it. I'm like one Why of those not? commercials that Why says not? the phone number over and over again yeah. because I want it to be branded into your memory. It is Thursday, January 26, 4:30 p.m. This is the commissioners' meeting at 567 Pavonia Avenue. Please come out. You know, you guys, you you have enough time in advance to to figure something out to get there. But the best way to show this man that you appreciate everything that he's done and you support his endeavors is right. to really show up. And, and show I, up and let the people know that this man is needed in the community in his and, position. And, you know, and again, originally, you know, until today, um, we, did, we, we had to alter everything. We decided that we was going to, you know, stand up and we was going to dedicate, you know, this, seg this segment of the show towards the standing behind um we should get shirts Benjamin smith because yeah. we felt we felt that you know um it would have been disheartening again to everybody within the community if we didn't do that and um you know uh, again we just want to thank everybody all our viewers and uh we hope hopefully you share you know you copy you know you 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 send this out to everyone you know and um, we just come together and be supportive. Let this be the first thing, but not the only. The only thing we got in twenty twenty three. That's right. Right. You know what I mean? I mean, we 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 can rally behind you know nonsense, but when it's something that's detrimental to the community, you know, here's our time to stand up and actually make a difference. You know what I mean? Of course, in peace. And um, you know, I just want to say this: um, our school system is in dire state. So much violence, as you mentioned earlier, you know, going to certain schools and seeing these young men on ankle monitors already. And, and let me tell you something. They're not on monitors for petty theft. No. They're gun charges. Yeah, weapons possessions. They're weapon possessions. Mm -hmm. Multiple, right? And to know that. And he's I would, a seventh, eighth grade. Right. Is like the and knowing that I've been able to see somebody to talk to these guys and really get through to them to where I, I've seen and witnessed, you know, changes, miraculous changes in their behavior within the span of a year. So just imagine being able to get through to one of these guys. You didn't just save their life. Potentially, you saved someone else's life. Mm -hmm. You know, you, you, you saved a potential victim of theirs because you saved them. Absolutely. So that's just a small token of the dynamics that take place and what he's been able to accomplish. And and I think that, you know, that's enough to, to wrap it up. Yeah. You know, um, again, come out, support. Let's January 26th, 4.30 p.m., 567 Pavonia Avenue. That is the commissioner's meeting. And, you know, there will be the powers that be there. So come out and even your presence alone will really speak volumes. That's right. So we need, we need everybody's um, support. Anthony needs everybody's support for this. Anything to say in closing, Brother Ra? Well, in closing, it's, it's, I already gave the quote, right? Right. Mm -hmm. So <laughs> definitely, if we were going to say anything, it's like you're going to continue, and, and I'm, the, I'm just going to be the pessimist, you're going to continue to lose. If you do not voice your opinion, you know that something's wrong, you know you're being Speak taken up. advantage of, mm -hmm. you know that it's not fair, you know that you've never gotten a positive shake Sitting there idle, waiting for it to come your way, makes absolutely no sense. Don't complain about there not being resources in the community if you're not willing to fight for them when That's they're right. taken away from you. That's right. Uh, Ms. Demutez, Vice King Keisha. So I'm just going to reiterate, January 26th. <laughs> 4.30 p.m., 567 Pavonia Avenue. Come out, come out, come out and support. Tell a friend to tell a friend to tell a friend. Carpool, catch the bus, catch an Uber. They got the Vias. The Vias mm. is like $2. Okay, you put the address in the Via, and it's going to take you. Might be a block away, but you're going to get there, okay? Again, that address is 567 Pavonia Avenue. That's January 26th at 4.30 p.m. That is the commissioner's meeting. Come out, you know, support Brother Anthony Smith and let him know that you stand with him and all of his efforts and hard work that he's doing for our children and for the community as a whole. Well, in closing, I don't think it could have said, it'd be said no much better, but 
truly come out and support Brother Smith, yeah. the person who supports and stand up for everybody else. All right? Continuously. Support your supporters. That's right. Oh, I like and it's, that. And Hashtag. It's, and it's necessary. And, and also, in closing, to wrap it up, again, 2023, please take care of yourself. Love yourself first. All right? Let's fight to be happy. Release yourself from anyone that's bringing any negative or yes. toxicity in your life. Mm. This is your year, all right? And let's make it happen. Yeah. All right? And 23, never free to be me. That's Remember? right. Let's not forget that. I like that's that. That's right. Free to be me. I like that. Okay, Erica, like in closing, love, peace, and what? Peace and love. Don't forget, 4.30, January 26, 567, Pavonia Avenue. I'm going to say it till I can't say it no more. All right. Peace and love. And Good we night, out. people. Peace.